So there are lots of ways to commit disorderly conduct in Texas, but the one that happens most often to our clients is something called displaying a firearm in a public place in a manner calculated to alarm. And lots of times that's easy. It's brandishing a firearm. You see someone waving it around, clearly an act of disorderly conduct. But we had a very interesting case that uh, we had to take to trial in which our client was carrying a rifle in a sling on his back pointed at the ground. Um, in fact, he had fast food in his hands at the time. So there's no sort of action to get to the firearm, but he happened to carry it through a mall. He was carrying it through a mall because he worked there and had a firearms accessory store and was hoping to display some of those accessories on that rifle. But there were people who were alarmed and they called the police and police arrived and, you know, uh, said, look, I'm sorry, a mall is just not the place for this. You've committed disorderly conduct. And that was the state's theory of the case was you can never do this and not alarm people. Fortunately, the jury actually disagreed, given the facts, given that he wasn't reaching for the gun, he wasn't being aggressive. I mean, if you weren't looking at him from the back, you wouldn't even know it was there. Uh, luckily, they came back and said, there's no way that he calculated to alarm in that circumstance and found him not guilty.